that's more likely. Never say never, but never. Okay, Christopher, you have the floor. Bam. NFL Films Music, Mr. Feller, for a little bit of ambiance. Go for it, Chris. All right, big uh, preview of the weekend here. Let's get it going. All right, NFC Power, more likely to start 0-2. Rams or Packers? Oh, man. I'll go Rams, man. I, I think Aaron Rodgers owns the Bears. It would be it would stun me for the Bears to go up the toll road and take care of the guy who quote unquote owns them. I think the Packers are gonna run over them. How about how does that sound? I think they're gonna run like they're gonna run the football. Jones or they're just gonna... and Dylan. They're oh, gonna go wow. run them run at him. And uh, you know, maybe Lazard will be active and, and help out Rodgers. These young kids are gonna Get the Christian message. Watson catches one. Uh, Atlanta has the opportunity to come in here and shock some people potentially. I think you're right. I about think Atlanta that. coming to Los Angeles and shocking the Rams is far more viable than the Bears on Sunday Night Football going to the Packers. That's the what's more likely. I Great. think both of them win though. What else, Chris? Okay. Uh, hey, he was in my MVP rankings this week. Carson Wentz, guys. Big Washington Detroit game this weekend. Uh, you know, Detroit, they have been underdogs in 24 straight oh games. Oh, my goodness. They're favored in this game. Hey. The Lions are favored. So what's more likely? Wentz throws for 300-plus again in a win, or the Lions win by more than a score? I'll take the Lions. I'll take the Lions. The 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 D.C. offense, though, is pretty good. sneaky, sneaky good. Yeah. You know, I might I might have overstated when I've said the Ravens are the sneakiest good offense, passing offense in the league. Uh, I should... I should have potentially given a little bit more credit to what Washington's doing, but I'll go the Lions. It's time that they start actually placing their foot in the ground. And mm-hmm. what did what did uh, what did uh, um, Dan Campbell say? It took him about a minute to answer in the final hard knocks that this team is a team that can and will. I don't he know said what that so meant. many and mixed so many metaphors. This, he, this I can't team is a team yeah. that can and will. Well, it's time for them to can the the uh, underdog status and win this thing. I'll go there. I'll go there. Big game down in New Orleans, guys. Bucks, Saints. Tom Brady, not a not a lot of success in his Bucks tenure against New Orleans. How about this wide receiver running back duo to each score a touchdown? Mike Thomas, Alvin Kamara, Mike Evans, Leonard Fournette. I'll go Thomas Kamara. Uh, I'll just say that the Saints defense has got the Bucks number offensively, and I think um, I'll go Thomas Kamara. That's what I'll do until I, st- I need to see it to believe. I can't believe I'm believe I'm saying that about Tom Brady's. But they've really struggled against the. Uh, except in the playoffs. Except, right, regular season. Except playoffs. in the playoffs. Regular season. Yeah. Yeah. What else, Chris? How about the team most unlikely to be 2-0? and Unlikely 2-0 and team, Giants or Browns? Oh, I think it's unlikelier for the Giants. Browns should beat the Jets, man. What are, you, what are we talking about? The Browns at home should beat the Jets. Kevin Stefanski, do you want me to get the quote again, Oh, Rich? I know he's talking you, about Joe Flacco. Do you want me like, to get the quote I know, that he go, said about Joe Kevin Flacco? Kevin Stefanski's comments on Joe Flacco would make Lou Holtz trying to get Rice in a top five status before Rice would come in. An hour ago, Stefanski called Joe Flacco a great player, unbelievable arm talent, Got and it. very, very gifted. I That's will all go, I'm saying. The Browns should win this. The Browns should win this, and the Panthers coming in are, are a much more stout team than the Jets going into Cleveland. Really sneaky good game in Baltimore, Miami and the Ravens. What's more likely, Tyreek gets over 100 yards and scores, or Lamar, 300 total yards and three touchdowns? I'll go Tyreek Hill. I'll go Tyreek Hill. Only 94 yards is more likely. for Tyreek Hill. I, I got it. I'll, I'll say it's more He's just such a big gamer, and... 300 total yards and three touchdowns is um, 300 total yards. Total yards. That includes rushing. I'll he, still say Tyree Kill. I'll still about, say Tyree you know, Kill. Like I, still, I think the Ravens win, but I still think Tyree can get his yards. AFC West team to avoid 0-2. Broncos or Raiders? What's more likely? Um, I think I'll, I'll choose the Raiders. The Raiders, the way that Arizona just looked. <sighs> they look bad. Arizona's coming in. And the Bronco, well, I, I don't know. The Broncos are taking on Houston. They should win that game. Houston should have won their game in week one. Uh, I, I, I got it. I think they both win. I know that that's not answering your question. Rich, you got to play along. I'll take Houston. I, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take Denver then because maybe Arizona is going to be, like, embarrassed by what happened. Denver should come in and 
They, they shouldn't even send out McManus. They should go for it on fourth down every, <laughs> every time. Every single time? Every time. <laughs> McManus shouldn't kick once. Sorry, Brandon. Every fourth down, it should be like an eight-year-old playing Madden hopped up on a bag of Skittles. That would be great. That's that the way it great. should be. We shouldn't I, see I McManus like once. So I'll take Denver in that equation okay. right there. Uh, good. What's more likely? I Miles have, Garrett I have one more. coming up with Gerald McCraney uh, here on the Rich Eisen Show. But for those... Those on Roku, uh, you got yeah, one, more. one more. Thank you. All right, we'll get one Thanks, more. Thanks, George. Appreciate hey. that. What do you got over there? Big matchup in the Bay. Divisional. First place, Seattle. Yes. In San Francisco. More likely, quarterback with more passing yards, Geno or Trey Lance? I'll go Geno. I'll go Geno. I'll take Geno on that one. If Seattle wins this game. Then then uh, Pete Cowell, coach how of the year. loud? How loud are the cries for Jimmy G? An zero and two start, an zero and two start would be the exact scenario with losing to the Bears at home, and then see uh, Bears on the road, and and Seattle at home would be that. But I, I I think they might run it, Jeff Wilson and everyone else. Kittle's looks like it's going to be a game time decision. It does not look good for him to play. Does not look good for George Kittle. No, but I'll still take Geno. Ah, screw it. I'll take Lance. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Trey. Here we go. Keep Jimmy G nailed to the bench. I mean, you saw the video of Trey Lance, right? Where, what he was doing with his free time? Please tell me the weather's going to be fine. What is that? Apache. Jump what, on it. What's he doing? Jump on uh, it. He was in an establishment. Oh, are, uh, you, are you serious? Well, oh. Rich, what he was doing that was clear is he was reinvesting into the community. But are you serious? Wise, is what I'm when saying. When was this? That, uh, you know, Feller and TJ like to frequent. Uh, what are you talking about? How dare about? you? Was this, is this thing on? Oh, God. It's a 70% <laughs> chance of rain Sunday. Is it going to rain on his parade again? Go Hawks! All right, I'll take Gino. <laughs> Go Hawks! I'll take Gino. I'm back with Gino. <laughs> Stay out of the club, Trey! <laughs>